In today's question, guys, what we're going to be doing is a skew borehole question. And all we are given, as we can see in the question, has been the XY line and the point location of where skew borehole A is. In other questions that we've previously done, we've been given the skew boreholes in elevation and we maybe had to locate them in plan or we were given the uh, head wall and the football points on those boreholes. Now what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to have to scaffold it and we're just going to have to build it up given the information that we have here. So starting off, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to read the question and take it from there. So it says, on a contour map, A and B are two points with altitudes of 80 and 90 respectively. On the map, B is located 55 metres north of A. So straight away there, I've been given a couple of bits of key information. I know A and B are two points with altitudes of 80 and 90 respectively. So A is going to be 80 metres high and B is going to be 90 metres high. And then it says on the map, B is located 55 metres north of A. Our scale is 1 to 1,000, so we can take 55 metres as being 55 millimetres. So if I have A already located, to find B on the map, 55 metres in my plan, north of it would be from a straight up measuring up 55 millimeters so i'll just get that done there just going to build it up slowly there is 55 and i know as well in the elevation it also said that they were 80 and 90 high respectively There's 80, and there's 90, and to bring it up a little bit further. Okay, two points. So straight away there, label point B, or borehole B, I should say, in my plan. And A was at 80, so there's A up here. There's B. And there's A. Okay, so what I would also advise there, guys, is oh, you don't have to do this, but I always put in a little um, a little compass down here, north, south, east, and west, and it just gives me a little guide if I had to go southeast. I know it's in this direction, forty-five degrees southwest, northeast, northwest, and, and vice versa, and so on. Just gives me a little bit of a guide. Now. We've done the first part, contour map A and B, two, pay, two points, 80 and 90 high respectively. On the map, B is located 55 metres north of A. So from A, straight up, and locate point B. Now, next part of the question, I have to, it says, a skew borehole at the given point A, so a skew borehole at the given point A, which is here in plan, here in elevation, is drilled in a southwesterly direction in plan. Okay, southwesterly. Is going over in this degree, this angle here, so at 45 degrees southwest from A. Okay. And has an inclination of 60 degrees to the horizontal plane. So what that means is in my elevation, the horizontal plane we know as our ground, so it is. And that means in my elevation, if you take this as the ground, and if a person was standing here, that's how high up A is, and he has an inclination of 60 degrees to that. So what we have to do is, from A in our elevation, I'm going to go down at 60 degrees. Okay. As an inclination of 60 degrees to the horizontal plane, it reveals the top and bottom surfaces of stratum at altitudes of 65 and 30, respectively. Now, at this point here, what we would assume is this is exactly where they drilled it, at this exact angle here, and it's working out this way. But we know they went down in a southwesterly direction. Now, if this is an inclination of 60 degrees, that technically means if I was just to bring out A here and we revert back to cones, okay, and I drop down this point here, where it hit the XY line. Now, we are assuming at this point here, that's our 60 degree line from A, which is up here. The angle down here is at 60 degrees. Let's put that in there. That's the inclination to the horizontal plane. Now that 60 degree line is going straight out, if we can see it here. That's going straight out. And that there is parallel, this line here is parallel with the XY line. That means that's actually a true length. 
Now, does that mean that this is our borehole from A? No, it doesn't. We know that's the inclination of it, but we already know that our borehole at A is going in a southwesterly direction. So what we have to do from this point here is we're going to rotate it like a cone, because it think, take of it as a generator of a cone, we're going to rotate it around until it hits down here at some point on the southwesterly line. So what we're going to do is rotate that around. Right. Okay, and now what I have found there on my line is my A. That is my borehole A in plan. Just heavy that in. Now that I've heavy that in, I can find the actual line in elevation. It still has a 60 degree inclination, only we have the correct view of it now. From here to here, that is my borehole A in this direction. It still has the 60 degrees inclination, only what that 60 degrees was, we brought it down here and we rotated it around to get the true image of it. And this is it up here. Okay? So now, all the last part, or sorry, the last part of that bit is we just have to locate the top and bottom surfaces of the stratum, so the head wall point and the foot wall point, and they were at 65 and 30 respectively. So I'll just measure up along this line, and mark them over, 30, and 65 there make sure I have it here there's my 65 and once again label so if that one there is a H and the bottom one AF okay now what we're going to do is roughly the same process only this time for borehole B just fix that up there. So, a skew of borehole at B is drilled in a southeasterly direction this time. So, if we do a southeast, southeast 45 degrees this way, from B, somewhere down along there, that's where we want it. And it also says that uh, in plan it has an actual inclination of 40 degrees to the horizontal plane. So, the last time it was 60 degrees this way. This time it's going to be 40 degrees going off in this direction. So all we have to do is we just have to set up a 40 degree angle. I'm just going to pick a point. And somewhere along that point, set this up properly. 40 degrees. There's my 40 degree angle. Set that up off my B. Okay, very simple. That is its inclination to the horizontal plane, 40 degrees. Okay, now I can see here I'm probably going to have to bring this out just a touch further. Okay, and like the last time, take this as the extreme generator of a cone. I'm going to bring it down. And from this point, we're going to rotate it around. It's the exact same method. Need to go a touch further. And there we go. That is my skew borehole B in plan. What I now have to do is just get that in elevation. So where it hits the ground here in plan. Right there. Join that up to my elevation. Now, located borehole B in elevation as well. So, what we have to do now is just find, it reveals the top and bottom surfaces of the stratum at 75 and 15 respectively. So, same thing, 75 and 15. So, use my original line just to measure, 75, 15. There's my 15. There's my 75. So there, in this case, we would have BH, 
and BF. Okay. Now, at this point, we kind of know what to do, having previously done it. We are going to join the two points on the head wall. So we got head wall point here and here. And two points on the foot wall. And if you join them in elevation, we should also join them in plan. So, should locate them in plan. AH is up here. We'll be down here. And AF. And the same with BH. And BF. Once again, labels very important. So we have this one is going to be AH, this one is AF, BH, BF. Okay, so AH joins BH. AF joins the BF. There we go. And once again, just quick labels. That's my two points on my head wall. These are two points on my foot wall. Now, at this point, we are going to do a level line, and I'm going to take it from the AF. And I'm going to do a parallel line, parallel to the two points that are in my head wall, which is AH and BH. I'm going to do a parallel line, parallel to the two points in the head wall, from BF, which is my point on the foot wall. To locate a point over here, which I'm going to locate, call point P. Once again, to find an elevation, what do we want to do? Find it in plan. Same method, somewhere down there is going to be my point P, and the same thing as well, we're in parallel to the head wall points in elevation from BF, so I'm going to find my head wall points again in plan, which are these two here, I'm going to do that from my plan, BF, All the way up here. Okay. Now that is after giving me my point up here. Point P in plan. And that point P in plan, I'm now going to get that because what we have to do is that's after determining my strike. Join it back to AF. That is the true length of my strike. True length strike. Okay. So, that's actually something I did there without even reading the next part of the question. It said, determine the dip, strike, and thickness of the stratum. So, we've got the strike. Now we have to get the dip, which is the inclination of the head wall and the foot wall in relation to the, to the ground or the horizontal plane. And then we have to get the thickness between the head wall and the foot wall. So we know now, what we want to do is, we're after creating a plane here, I want to see this line here, the strike line, as a point view. And the only way to see a line as a point view is to look straight in at it. So that line there that I have as a point view, I want to look straight in at it. So I'm going to look out along it and get all my points. So, right, switch our pens there. So extend that out, do the same with all my other points, there's that one, and do the same with AH, do the same with BH, and the foot wall point, and then set up perpendicular to it, come up here a little bit.
set up an X1, Y1. This is an auxiliary view. X1, Y1. Now, what I need to do is, if I project from the plan, I take my heights two views back. This is an X1, Y1, so this is one view, two views back. But if you project from the plan, you should take your heights from the elevation. I'm just going to extend these lines out a little bit further. I need two of them. It will be A, H, and B, H. It should be these two, actually. Okay. Now, let's locate all our points. Start with the smallest one. So I'm going to start with BF, which is here. Come over here. Mark it up. Do the same with the next one up, which would be AF. Just going out along my strike line. Then I'm going to do the same with AH. And then the very last one with BH. So here. Now, once again, labels. So I've got BH. Technically, is BH1. Then over here, I've got BF1. AF1. And this should be AH1. Okay. Now, at this point, what we should get is we should get two parallel lines, one depicting the head wall, one depicting the foot wall. So, just join them up. And as I said in a previous question, check your accuracy before you put it in. Because they should be parallel. Might have come out pretty close. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. There we go. Now, question is almost complete. Just going to extend this one out a little bit. I'm going to bring him down here. And what I have found inside there, just to depict that. Inside in here, that angle in there is my dip. That's my dip angle. And then the perpendicular distance between my foot wall, which is AF1, BF1, to the head wall, which was BH1 to AH1, that there is my thickness. You could measure that if you want. There we go. Question on skew boreholes done from start to finish, given just the XY line and the starting point of my skew borehole A, and we were told the various directions that the boreholes were going and their inclination to the horizontal plane.